Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Nick and welcome to the small sub-series on this channel called How To Game. This will be showing you how to install mods, host multiplayer servers, and even give some in-game tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you guys how to host a multiplayer server on Gary's Mod. We're going to be using a program called Evolve HQ, which is linked in the description. Now what is Evolve HQ? Evolve HQ is similar to Hamachi, but is better built for gamers. Now again, when you click that, that link in the description, it'll take you to this website, and to get started, just simply click this big red button. It'll require you to make an account using an email address and download the client itself. Again, all of it's very self-explanatory. Once you've done all that, and you have the programs installed, open it up. You'll be given two windows, which the other window, for some freaking reason right now, won't open. Oh, there it is. You be should get two windows. The window on the right is like a newsletter, and it's kind of useless to me, so for the sake of screen space, I always close it down. Now, before we get to anything further, we want to go to Friends, Preferences, under the General tab, you want to make sure these two boxes are unchecked. If these are checked, every time you start up the computer, it'll take freaking forever. So just make sure these two are unchecked, and save. Now, moving on to the part of the game. We go to Friends, and we want to create a party. When creating a party, it'll ask you to download a program. This is simply allowing the party program to work. Download it, and then the window should complete and look like this. If you look to the right, you'll see your name, and you'll be given an IP address. Right-click on this, and copy IP address. You'll be needing this for the Gary's Mod server. Now, what about your friends? Your friends must be in the party to be able to connect with your Gary's Mod server. Simply right-click on any friend you want, and invite to party. Now let's minimize this stuff, and let's open up Gary's Mod. Very simple, if you're the host, you want to start new game, you want to make sure whatever map you want, whatever you want, let's just say this one, and blah blah blah, make sure on the right here, that it's under how many players you want, I usually play with four or eight of my friends, so make sure it's under that, open it up, and when it's successfully open and you are moving around in the game, you want to tell your friends to hold shift and the little squiggly line, which means a little squiggly line left of the one on the keyboard it's got a different name but for the sake of ease of explanation we're going to call it the little squiggly line hold shift and little squiggly line and this command prop will pop up type in connect and control v and submit simple as that you should be able to connect to your friend's server now sometimes it takes slower than usual to that's just how Gary's mod is. Simply close it down and start it up again. Now, sometimes you guys will get an error, something called a uh, SV, uh, what is it, kick? Okay, you'll get like SV kick error number one. The host and all your friends will want to type in, to, just to counteract this problem, type in S, SV underscore kick and error num and then push zero. That will nullify everything on that part. Submit and make sure your whoever the host is does that as well. Simple again. When you're in the game, hold shift squiggly line and the command will probably be up. Type in server kick error num zero and that should all work just fine if that error does pop up. Now sometimes if you're the host you have to close down your firewall. I've had games where I don't have to, and I have games that I have to. For example, my friend has to shut down his firewall for Gary's Mod to work, but I don't. But he doesn't have to do it for Starbound, but I do. And vice versa on other types of games. That's pretty much it. If you guys got any problems or questions, anything like that, just leave it in the comment below. This was requested by a user, and I do listen to the comments, and if anybody has any requests like this, be free to ask. I will be doing a Minecraft one using this program. It's a little bit more complicated than you might like, but it works out great. Again, any suggestions, leave a comment in the below. Any questions, I do help the questions. I've helped people on my Starbound server setup. I've done it before. I'm more than happy to do it again. Again, for the third time, leave a comment in the below. Any concerns, suggestions, or if you would just simply like to say, Hello. Alright, see you guys.